everybody, welcome. You're going to read a book about me, Little Red Riding Hood, and it's written by one of my favourite authors and illustrators, Nick Sharrett and Stephen Tucker. Enjoy the story. Little Red Riding Hood's mum said, Your gran's been on the phone. She's feeling rather poorly and she's had a little moan. So would you be a sweetheart? Pop over right away and take this shopping with you. It would really make her day. Hmm, I wonder what's in the basket. And I wonder what's behind the door. Now to get to Granny's cottage, the only way to go was through the deep dark forest. But was she scared? Oh no! In fact, she wandered off the path to where the bluebells grew. Then suddenly, a wolf leapt out and said, How do you do? Red Riding Hood said to the wolf, I'm on my way to see my granny who is ill in bed. The wolf cried, Deary me, he asked, Where does your granny live? She pointed and he smiled. It is time that I was on my way, he said. Goodbye, my child. Mm, I wonder what lives in the trees. The wolf had got an evil plan to eat Red Riding Hood and so he raced to Granny's house as quickly as he could. He jumped in through a window, snatched the cap off Granny's head, shoved her in a wardrobe and leapt into her bed. When Red Riding Hood came in, she couldn't help but stare. Goodness, Gran, you look strange. You've grown a lot of hair. And your eyes, they look so big. They've changed from blue to black. All the better to see you with, the cunning wolf growled back. I wonder what Granny keeps beside her bedside table. Hmm. Red Riding Hood said, Poor old Gran, your throat must be so sore, for you two sound as bad as that. You're not yourself for sure, and your ears have grown as well, she gasped. I wonder why. All the better to hear you with, came the hoarse reply. Hmm, I wonder what's in the box, and I wonder what's inside the cuckoo clock. Come closer, dearest, grinned the wolf, and give your gran a kiss. You never, squeaked Red Riding Hood, had teeth as big as this. All the better to eat you with, wolf roared with all his might. He threw aside the duvet and he tried to take a bite. Round and around the room they ran. He pounced and he seized her cape. Poor Red Riding Hood was trapped. Wolf snarled, there is no escape. He was just about to eat her when her dad came bursting in. He'd been chopping logs for firewood when he heard the frightful din. The wolf looked at the big sharp axe and shot out of the door. And who knows what became of him, for he was seen no more. When they found Gran in the wardrobe, she said, Don't you agree Red Riding Hood needs glasses if she thought that the wolf was me? <laughs> Snips out, my story's all told out.